Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about my opinion of uh, selling Magic the Gather Gathering tokens and deck boxes, uh, super play mats, and all this stuff. And I'm making this video because I think it's kind of got out of control. Um, again, leave me a comment below if you think it is. I know the number one argument, um, and I'll just state what the argument is before we even begin with my counter argument to the argument is that, hey, if someone's willing to buy it, let them buy it. You don't control the market. Let them decide. Let them let the market decide if that product is good. But when I look at deck boxes on Etsy that's like $200, when I look at sleeves that are like $25, when I look at tokens that are just ridiculous amounts of money on GoFundMe or Kickstarter or something like that, I just think about like how far the game has really gone and how everyone just wants to make money from the game. Now that's okay. I don't want to say it's not okay to make money from the game, but it really pushes it to like a different level. So when I used to play, no one, I mean, we had to use um, Pokemon sleeves. We had to use this Ultra Pro, Pro sleeves, which was the only one I recognized. And this was when I was in elementary school. No one even used sleeves to begin with. No one used play mats. No one used life pads. No one used, um, you know, fancy classic art tokens. You just played a game because you loved it and you just played on the kitchen tables and that was the uh, tables on the lunchroom. And you had such a wonderful time and you didn't really care what the value of the card is. Now the fact that cards have got so valuable, that's what has created this secondary market, I believe. It's, if a card is only worth like $5 and that's the maximal value of a card for a card game, then no, you're not going to have people selling $200 deck boxes. You're not going to have classic art tokens, right? You're not going to have like high quality play mats. But when cards are worth $10,000, then you have all that stuff. And I've seen this from baseball cards as well. I was collecting baseball cards when I was much younger. And now we have Exquisite, we have um, Flawless, which I like a lot of. And these things cost like $2,000 for about 10 cards. 10 basketball cards cost $2,000. And they are autographs, they have gems now, they have silver and they have gold nuggets. Like, you can't even make this stuff up. And that is what magic has become. Magic has become, you know, when you look at Kaladesh Inventions, that to me looks exactly the same as something like a Steph Curry autograph uh, with a diamond in it or even a Steph Curry diamond without an autograph. I mean, yeah, it looks the same, both looks excellent. And when you have a marketplace where cards are just insanely high in price, you will have people who can sell a lot of tokens, very expensive. You will have people who can sell a lot of play mats. You will have people who can sell a deck box for a hundred dollars. And that is what creates the marketplace. But the more that you support that type of um, reality of a hundred dollar deck box then it actually feeds back to making the card even more expensive because like oh well if my deck box is a hundred dollars then why do I care if uh, I buy this hundred dollar uh, fetch line the ton for like uh, eight dollars or eighty dollars you don't care because your deck box is more expensive then you buy a more expensive card and you the card gets more expensive then the deck box gets more expensive and then you get into the cycle where what's driving what uh, so in my opinion i don't know how to say this but i don't see um expensive deck boxes i don't see i personally don't think that i will ever buy a deck box over five dollars i personally am not never going to buy a play mat over like 25 dollars unless it's like custom completely artistic custom which you know it's a hundred dollars a play mat it's 125 actually for me and, but a lot of what appeals to um, the richer audience is what's driving up the prices. Um, in my opinion, it's helping drive up the price. Because if you have a playmat that's $250, which I have, you have a deck box that's $200, you're using classic art tokens that's like $5 a token, then paying a thousand dollars for your modern deck isn't that big of a jump, right? Because you've already spent so much money on the product. 
So anyway, that is my personal feeling. I know a lot of you will disagree with it. I'll get a lot of dislikes as normal videos do. But I thought that I would at least make the video because I know a lot of people support these expensive um, items. But I, I personally cannot imagine spending $100 on a deck box. I personally don't see the use of um, a, a token made from classic artwork. And I personally don't really understand even Calidus inventions, why we uh, need them, because we don't really need them. And in fact, they make the game slightly more expensive for some players. Anyway, bye guys.